Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I got a pretty sweet video. In today's video we're going to be checking out this pretty sweet stack. I call it a stack but it's really just one board, an all-in-one. It is the Argus 40 amp F7 stack by Access Flying and you're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. So I recently did a review on the Manta 30 and it actually flew incredible so I dove into the electronics and that's when I found out that this guy was rocking this board and I said you know what I want to check it out further. So I went ahead and got my hands on one and wow look at this. So of course you get your accessories but look at this board very impressive it immediately caught my eye and I said I've got to look into this some more so right off the top I was blown away by the feature and power to price ratio absolutely awesome as we dive in you're going to get to see what I'm talking about so access flying is from China and it's inside of a province known as Jiangxi so you can only imagine when they come up with these names sometimes they get a little crazy this one here is called the Argus and if we dive into that name the Argus means a mythological giant with a hundred eyes so that sounds cool right for my stack <laughs> right? But Argus is also a widely used tool for real estate financial modeling. So what are we doing here? Which one is it? I'll let you decide. So with a 40 amp stack, F7 microcontroller, feature after feature after feature, list price coming in somewhere around $99.99 for flight controller and ESC, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. So we have the onboard gyro. It is an ICM 42688P. Not a bad gyro when we're comparing it to the other options. We've also got a barometer on board and I'll show it to you as we dive in closer. It does have OSD. It does have 32 megabytes of black box. We've also got eight UARTs, two BECs, a 5 volt 3 amp max and a 12 volt 3 amp max. When we talk about mounting, it is 20 by 20. So that is a micro mounting. It's 2025. 99.1% of frames come with both 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 mounting. This is not a 25 by 25 mounting. If you don't know what that is, that is when you get into most AIOs that are built and designed and turned just a smidge so that they can be mounted in a diamond configuration and they will fit only certain quadcopters that are designed to take whoop style or cine whoops and that's about it not this bad boy we've got our usb connector out the side it is type c we've also got our power pads for our xt60 or xt30 coming right out the back and it's traditional 20 by 20 mounting that means anywhere from three inch all the way up to five i wouldn't push into six inch but you can mount this puppy just like any other stack and run it with all the features all the specs and all the power you could ask for for a really decent price it also comes pre-loaded with am32 software the latest version that is a big plus because you don't want to end up with bl heli 32 and now you can't update ah that's going to do it for our features and specs i do want to take a quick little peek under the hood take a look at our circuitry let's take a look at our chips let's look at our board layout how did they do are things put together well and the only way i'm going to be able to do that is with the scopey scope holy cow let's dive in so the very first thing i have to absolutely point out something you probably noticed on your own is look at these mosfets yes these are beautiful beautiful metal mosfets and they go all the way around you can see them right here you can see them over here now let's head back over here I do want to point this out. You've got three connectors on this side of the board. No other connectors, right? Nope. So you've got your USB Type-C, and then you've got three connectors. This one right here is your main HD plug. If you'll notice, that fits pretty much everything. And then you've got a plug here, plug here, and as you'll notice, they're just a typical UART, ground and 5 volt, 
UART ground in 5 volt. So let's take a look at this circuitry. Something I'm noticing right here right away is that barometer, boom, right to you in your face ready to roll. So what do we got? A 40er. So what this is, is this is a gate driver. All right, if we hop over just one chip, boom, you can see this chip right here. If I rotate, that says G07. Let's go. If you don't know what that is, that is just based off the original STM32 G07. This is just a knockoff, but it's basically the microprocessor. So that's gonna do it for the bottom side, which seems to be dominantly for the ESC. All right, flipping over really quick, let's move along. So there it is, that is the hub, that is the center, that is the STM32 F7 chip. And if we continue right along, you can see right here, we've got 32 megabytes of onboard flash. Yes, our AT7, oh, let's go. Not that you need it, because most guys, including this guy, are running HD. I'm gonna wire this up to a DJI 04. If I don't have any, because they're hard to get right now, I'm gonna go to an 03. So I don't need that, but don't not put it. What if I want it? All right, so that's your OSD chip. If you need it, you want it, you got it, you have it. Oh, something I forgot. Let's flip this board back over. Right over here, we have motors 8765 or 5678. Yes, eight motors. All right, back over to this side. Let's jump down over here. We've got Bex. This will be Bex 1 and this will be Bex 2. We have a 12 volt Bex and we have a 5 volt Bex on board. All right, so let's go ahead and head down to where we would solder up our wires, our main connection wires. So that's going to be this way. And they are, oh, really quick. Oh, look at that. So that right there is a 3.3 volt LDO. That is a low dropout regulator. All right, if we continue on, shunt resistor and finalized with ground and power. And last but not least, we've got plenty, plenty of pads. Everything from your buzzer to your LEDs. We have eight UARTs. Look at this. We are loaded with, 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 with options here. I mean, it just goes on and on, GPS, uh, everything. And it does support GPS, as you know, because we even have the barometer on board. This thing really does do it all. It, it really is an impressive board. I'm not just saying that. And then right here is going to be your LEDs that are going to give you your basic power up, right? Your flashing and your constants to let you know that your board has power and that it's working. So that's going to do it for the Scopey Scope. If you guys are interested in getting your own, I'll put a link to this stack down in my video description. Also, if you guys are interested in watching the video on that three inch, the Manta 30, also by Access Flying, I'll put a link to that video down in the video description as well. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did, and I will see you on the next one.